seasonal anime season summer 2022 in terms of like how many shows that i have actually dropped or how many i'm actually watching this is the least since i started watching seasonals this is the least amount of shows that i'm watching in this season it's very low it's literally around four right now but i feel like uh, okay not four anymore it's like three now because I, I will be talking about one but i have dropped one already class move the elite this is a very controversial one because I can tell you now, before the uh, second season started, everyone, well, most Clash of Elite fans were so excited, especially me, because I started Clash of Elite with the anime. As you, many of you might know, the first season came out in 2017. And that's how I first knew about the Clash of Elite series. I was watching it weekly in 2017 when it came out. And yeah, it was really good. It was something different. I saw, and 2017 was actually, if I think about it, it was the first year that I started watching um, anime, seasonal animes. I just saw it as a high IQ, very smart anime. And the main character, Aino Koji, I really liked him. He stood out from the rest of the MCs. It was really a different MC that I've seen before. And it was just it was really standing out, even though it's ironic. It's ironic to his character, not standing out. He stood out the most in the anime. And season two came out and I could see the difference. I actually rewatched season one as well. I could see the difference. I could see where light novel fans are coming from. In season one, I didn't really mind it much. But season two came and yeah, um... I, I really don't know what, how to feel. Everyone was excited for season two, man. But it, it, it was like one or two episodes. Everyone was like, wait, this is fun. It, this is kind of dodgy. I think we need to be careful, though. This might actually turn badly. Or, but we can still be f um, hopeful because this is a new studio. They could be doing something with it. But yeah, um, it got worse. It really did get worse. After episode 3 just went down, I basically just didn't watch it after episode 4. And people were telling me as well, after I dropped dropped season 2, it's currently on season 2 episode 7 or season 2 episode 8. I dropped it around episode 4. People were telling me it just gets worse, even animation-wise as well, and how much they're skipping, it gets worse. So yeah, I just I just haven't gone back to the class early season 2 anime. It's quite sad that they're doing this, like... For such a great live one, for such a great series, such a great light novel series, they're doing this for Classroom of the Elite. It's such a great series, man. If you have such a great, if you think Classroom of the Elite is great and you're anime only, I highly suggest you read the light novels. Honestly, it's so good. Light novel, it's such a good experience, such a good story. But yeah, that's Classroom of the Elite. I've, I've dropped the anime right now. I'm going to be, for Classroom, in terms of Classroom of the Elite, we're going to focus. I'm going to personally focus on the light novels. I'm not going to carry on with the anime anymore it's it's very bad <laughs> especially season two but yeah that's that's what i think about custom elite if you what tell me what you think about custom elite though is it good for you or are you having a different experience but yeah number two is our ashi now i have a quite a funny story with our ashi the first time i um, started watching our ashi i watched two episodes i dropped it because i didn't like this low star but it wasn't later on so i saw a video telling me why i should pick it back up especially for people who dropped it and i did i picked it back up it was the best decision i made uh, ashito if you if you know about blue lock out ashi and, and the main character in blue lock isagi i actually made a video on isagi why i think it's st like over nearly a year ago yeah, it's actually doing well one of my uh, best like performing videos for me anyway and Ashi uh, isagi and ashito are very similar in a way honestly the more i watch our ashi the more i compare it to blue lock i know i should do but that's what i do those two, the only reason I I think Blue Lock is better than how Ashi right now is because of I've watched, I've experienced, I've read more Blue Lock. But yeah, how Ashi is progressive. I love the way it progresses. The story progression is really good. MC, the MC, uh, character writing, the main character are all good. And right now, from where we are right now, we're focusing more on matches and more screen time on matches and less on actual character growth and training. But yeah. Overall, our Ashi is such a good watch. I don't know if I would go, season one's nearly over. It's like five episodes left for season for season one. I don't know if I'm going to read the manga after season one. But if I should, let, tell me if you read our Ashi manga. I, if I should, maybe. If I, I don't know if I would have. Call of the Night. Call of the Night. Honestly, I didn't expect this to be as big, like, to be as good as it is to me. Like, before this season started, I didn't even know it existed. And... Now, I feel like a anime I didn't know existed before a season. I feel like this has got to be up there for like something uh, 
something that I went in blind and I didn't even know that existed before this season. It's and I'm liking it this much. It's gotta be up there for one of like I didn't even think this was gonna be anyway, anyway near this good. First the directing, the opening let me just talk about the opening and the ending first. The, oh my god, those two the opening and ending are just both the opening and ending are spectacular. Normally I will only like one, like Oh, I only like the opening and not really like the ending that much. Or only like the ending and only I'm not like the opening that much. But for Call of the Night, I like both the opening and ending. I can't even say which one's better because they're that good. Catchy visuals, everything. And even the show itself, the main girl, obviously the vampire and the boy who's like <laughs> antisocial and things like that. I wants to turn into fire, but honestly, that whole concept, it may seem simple. I think that's why it gets overheated at times. I've seen it get hated, but yeah, we're not talking about hate. Um, I think that's why it gets hated because it's quite simple, but the visuals make it carry and it makes it so special. It makes it enjoyable as, as hell. <laughs> you can also see the little like romance moving in and even in the latest, uh, in the latest episode, we got like a little action. It's literally, we literally seen little bits of everything in this anime and it's so good. Like visually, it's just every aspect. It's so good. I think that's why I'm really liking this. And it's ironic as well because it's from the person who's directing Call of the Night is from a handmaid I don't like. But it's Monogatari, but yeah. Um Call of the Night I'm really enjoying. If anyone else likes Call of the Night, let me know because this anime is incredible. And I probably will be reading that manga after I finish this first season because it's that good. I need to know how this story progress. It's really good. And the last thing I'm watching this season, I know it's like three. <laughs> But yeah, Made in Abyss, it's a continuation, I feel like Made in Abyss is one of the, it's supposed to be big this season, but I feel like it's gone on hood or gone on the weird this season for who knows what reason. But yeah, it's going good so far, of course this is season 2, we're counting on with the um, story. But yeah, I'm liking it so far. I mean, um, there has been a little sus moments or weird moments in the anime with um, how, what they're actually showing in terms of... Yeah, I, I don't think I should go into that, but yeah. I think you guys who watch it will know what I'm talking about when I talk about weird and things that they're showing between episodes. But apart from that, um, these new characters we're seeing, this new area, this new um, this new section of world building, that's what um, made the Abyss is special for, and that's main reason, one of the main reasons why we love it. And it's going good, not finished yet. For anime that I've checked out, what I've dropped. Licorice Recoil, is that what it's called? I tried one episode, I kind of dropped it, I didn't even like it. I literally just watched one episode and just didn't care about it. Because it was an anime I didn't really like have any like prior knowledge of and I just thought, oh, it's just going to be another one of those mediocre seasonals. But yeah, um, recently it's been getting a lot of like talk wait no it's only uh, like a lot of people have been talking about like it's latest season latest episodes it's because it's like ep seven episodes in and it's like is it really getting that good again do i really need to watch it go back and give it another try so yeah you guys that are watching this i watch um licorice week oil if you're watching it if i need to get back on it let me know is it really that good but because i really wasn't really interested after one season one episode if I need to jump back on a little shoe coil, let me know, man. So, yeah, if I'm missing the hype on something that I should be watching, I, I mean, I, I would love to get back on it, but I need to be convinced, really. So, yeah, that's literally everything I've... <laughs> okay, I, I have checked out a few more, anyway, but I don't really want to talk about them. Um, but, yeah, that's everything I'm watching and uh, one thing I wanted to mention. But, yeah, anything else that I should be checking out, out that you guys... I didn't see in this video that I should be checking out. Let me know in the comments or any uh, if you have different opinions about these shows. Let me know in the comments as well. But yeah, that's all I got for today. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I haven't said that in a long time. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Show some love. Um, yeah, see you later, guys. And yeah, peace.